I'm gonna go get another one. He's gonna be back with us. <laughs> we still have a few Don't more things it. to try oh, here. Oh, that is uh, God. how burgers. To put it, warn us first. All right. All this right, is we... this is a war crime. It's a little bit before first pitch. We've been bopping around Bush Stadium for a while. We worked up a bit of an appetite. Yeah. And uh, as I understand it, when in St. Louis, there are some things that one should eat. Yes. Now, uh, here we have something called toasted ravioli, a St. Louis specialty. Basically, think about if you took a mozzarella stick and you just went like that. And they're kind of like these delicious mozzarella squares. They frequently come with marinara sauce. Now, in this other container, we have a Budweiser infused burger. So apparently there is Budweiser in the cheese, in the burger, and in the bun. But we're gonna take things one step further, aren't we? Yes, because uh, I understand there used to be a burger that had, that came with the ravioli. We're having to do a little bit of DIY action, uh, but that's fine because these are all delicious ingredients. And I think we're going to add, should we, should we do like a control and uh, like yeah, how, how I, should I, I, think should, I think we should get a taste of a toasted ravioli before mm. we oh, before, before okay. we play God here. Do not, the cheese is not really. I have to squeeze it. It's like meat. Is there meat in there? I guess so. I was expecting a lot of cheese here. You have to save some of that for me. Hot. This is just you know fried Italian seasoning, basically. Yeah. It's not bad. It's I was going to say. I, Mozzarella stick is maybe a little misleading, but uh, it is good. Let's look into this ravioli. Just like look, see that this just does. I can't really tell what the substance. Oh, you're, you're even doing is. the full Claire Sapphire. You're getting really in there. I, I mean, I want to know. You gotta get the paring knife. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, is this? I'm not sure that's a ravioli. I don't. It kind of tastes like, like, like vegan meat? Yeah, vegan meat. That's what I was thinking too. It's yeah. not, it tastes more like, where's the cheese at? We're gonna do a little bit of surgery because I'm curious, so I'll use the bigger one. But like, what is under the breading? Is okay. this pasta? No, so, oh, so kinda okay, is. we have some pasta here. I think yeah. I was wrong about what I thought it was. I was wrong. Like, okay, but Toasted that is ravioli is some type of meat wrapped in a square ravioli, breaded and deep fried. Oh, so the real close. problem is There's the really cheese. No cheese. To us. I was yeah. wrong. So this is, this is, just pasta. I just, yeah, I just, there it's is a pasta. meat ravioli, yeah. it's but a, it's a fried you can't meat ravioli. really taste it as much under the breading. Right. I it is, it is soft though. It's that's hmm. a good pasta texture it, now that I picked up on the bread. It's a meat ravioli. Yeah. I was under the impression that there was significant amounts of cheese in there. No. No. Mi no. Mi little Minimal. to none. Little to none. Little to none. Well, the more you learn. That was it's weird. Not bad. It was weird. Oh, the oh <laughs> good. That's one. not a good so, idea. That's a bad idea. Okay. For, for some context, uh, there is a Budweiser Burger Bar at the top level here at Bush, and we heard tell of uh, the St. Louis burger from hell. It was Prevel, which they put on St. Louis style pizza, marinara sauce, and toasted ravioli on a burger. Uh, naturally, we tried to seek this out, but it wasn't there. Uh, I think it's you only know you can only find it if you know where where it, where it exists. Um, but we're not we're not deterred here no, on the cut for vlog. Dr. Jenkinstein has logged on a concoction of a burger. I'm gonna give it a go. We've got Budweiser infused everything, toasted wraps, yeah. and marinara sauce. Marinara right. sauce on a burger. Some How's thoughts. that going? It's good. It's like it's like a cheeseburger pizza. You guys want a bite? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna take another one first. Imagine if someone accidentally spilled their Budweiser on your burger and then fried some pasta on it for some reason. Toasted ravioli. Wow. That is way boozier than I expected. Right? Boozier. It's boozier? There is, you, there, oh, okay. You could actually, now I'm really intrigued. You could actually tell that there's Budweiser in there. All right. It's not like a bourbon poached thing where you can actually get drunk off of it, but there it tastes. you can taste the beer. Right. Right? Bye. Let me take a shot. <laughs> That's good. Do not Let's finish that out. burger, Jake. I know I'm you not. Do. I'm I not going to finish the burger. Oh. Wow. <laughs> right? You, you, you really can taste the bud. <laughs> I know. That's kind right? of shocking. It is the it's kind of impressive, thing. really. Mm -hmm. Did you just dunk that entire thing in marinara sauce? Can we know? 
that you are, Jake took the burger you directly are out of my hand. He just took it right well, out of my we hand. We don't have to note. I think it's on camera. <laughs> that I mean, first of all, the, the table's wearing the marinara sauce now. Tough. Jake is in desperate need of a napkin. There's like one bite of burger left. You guys ate more recently than I did. The, situ I, the situation on the 400 level is out of control. I did not think that you would be able to taste the beer. I really didn't, but it comes through so strongly. This is a very good baseball stadium burger. You know, it is large. It tastes like what it is, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. You know, like it, it delivers on what it what it promises. Right. There's crunch from the ravioli. There's a whole bunch of beer, shockingly. Yeah. The burger itself is like pretty solid, especially for a stadium burger. Yeah. yeah. But all those things together, it's 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 like a it's like I the peanut know, butter I, pickle sandwich. Yeah, it's what, like what okay, fine, but what? It's like we 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 were so preoccupied with whether or not we could that we didn't stop to think of whether we should. Look at this, the remnants that I'm sure Jake is about to swallow Jake, like a, a python. Yeah, Jake just inhaled and hinged his jaw like a snake. I'm gonna go get another one. He's gonna be back with us. <laughs> we still have a few Don't more things it. to try oh, here. Oh, that is uh, God. how burgers. Just put it, warn us first. All right. All this, right, is, we... this is a war crime. I am so confident that this is going to taste good, which was not the case for our last item. <laughs> uh, that I'm pretty excited. Plot, plot twist, the donuts are, are Budweiser infused. Uh, right, that would be, I would, would not be happy about that. But I don't think they are, so uh, we should probably just dig in yeah. and see how this goes. They break apart pretty quickly. There we quickly. go. I have one very clean piece here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. That's delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't even like dessert. Straight from the state fair. Yes. You know what the key is to this? The donuts are warm. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. They actually, they will not uncover the donuts until they're physically making your bowl. They keep them under wraps and then they'll like bring them out real quick and unveil it and wrap them up again because it's so important the donuts are warm. It tastes like cake batter ice cream on steroids. Jordan, are you a chocolate or a vanilla guy? Which do you prefer? Vanilla, for sure. Okay. Chocolate. Mm. Vanilla is way better. Um, oh, you did save me a vanilla yeah, I one. That, that one should be oh, very sufficient. Look at it. Look at the vanilla donut. Ooh. Look at, okay, the glaze is like sticky. Oh, that's really good. It's really sweet. Yeah. That is really, really sweet. Wow. Okay. That is a phenomenal donut. It tastes like biting into a cloud fried in the yeah. butter sculpture that they make at state fairs. I'm wow, that's a good at, donut. I'm just straight to the state And they're fair. also, the other thing about these donuts are really good for you because they have a variety of different food groups in here. Yep. You see the green, the green of the sprinkles is for vegetables. Ah. The red sprinkles is fruit. The chocolate, it's, it's like, it's like that dark churro chocolate. It's, it's fudgy. Yeah, it's fudgy and dark. I thought it was going to be really sweet, like when you dip it, like the not like white chocolate. chocolate, like milk chocolate, or like when you dip an ice cream cone. But it's really dark and kind of bitter, and is mm -hmm. so, what an important and weird thing to put on these extremely sweet donuts. Can I also bring up another point here? Yes. Go ahead, Drew. So this is the souvenir bowl, correct? Yes. If you're one person and you're buying this, Wow, honestly, wow. I, I have nothing but respect Like, for this you. really feels like a group effort, not yeah. just for the sake of the video, but for the sake of anyone's tummy. Yeah. And we still have a long way to go. Again, look at I, this, look at this. I mean, look, look we're, in, we're also eating this pretty quickly. Yeah, but you I know, mean, I imagine if you enjoy this. Into this it's maybe half I know, but it, that's the thing. If you enjoy this over a few innings, maybe you can handle it on your own, but like, this is a lot of I have one critique. Get out. It's missing something. It, it, I think it's missing Which food group is it the marinara sauce. I knew it. I knew he was going to say it's missing marinara and a toasted, toasted ravioli. Toasted, no, no, no. Not even the toasted him. wraps. <laughs> not even the toasted wraps. Just the container of marinara, oh. I think, would be a perfect... Oh. You're like ruining the donuts just thinking about that. I had two donuts, and I already feel like I might want to take a nap. I think we maybe, I maybe at least, need to uh, take a uh, take a water break. Yeah, take a lap, walk this off. A you just drink right out of the Mississippi, guys. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to go drink right out of the Mississippi. 
course, uh, I know Milwaukee is famous for their bratwurst game up in Wisconsin, but uh, in St. Louis, we have uh, a, a bratzel, which is a, a bratwurst wrapped by a pretzel. It's, it yes. smells like if you dragged any ends through like a tailgate on hour five. Yes. Uh, it's, it's gleaming at me, which I it can is. only take it to be very, a good sign. Yes. We got it from uh, the pretzelry in the Redbird Club on uh, the third floor, third level here, near the uh, the suites. And uh, yeah, and for what it's worth, it seems to have the longest line here. Yeah, of all that's the true. stuff. And, and the uh, guy, I think the person before us ordered one, and the person after us ordered one. So clearly, people are all about the bratzel. Um, and again, for those saying, oh well, what's this? Just a pretzel dog. This is clearly something a little bit more serious. Yeah, this is uh, this is a brat. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I guess here we go. I don't know if I'm supposed to have this with additional condiments, but uh, we're just going to go for it. No, it's just in on its own. Oh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Great. <laughs> really, really good. I, I do like pretzel dogs. I know some people think pretzel dogs are like an affront to civilization, but I support those and I support this, and I recommend it. Alright. This is better than it has to be. Yep. That's a great way to put it. That's it's, a great way to put it. It's way better than it has to be. The brat has a lot of flavor to it. There's like nutmeg and thyme and all kinds of like ruby stuff going on. The pretzel is like just the right amount of crisp and doughy. This is good, yeah. So I feel like sometimes the concept, right, the concept alone kind of does the heavy lifting, Yeah. but they really, like this is a really good pretzel. Yeah, they put effort into that. Right. And you can taste it. I, I like it a lot. Uh, Gemma, I think you would also appreciate it. I, I do. I, I genuinely I, think you'll like it. I know this isn't really your thing. You should try it though. Okay, okay. Oh, this is like so glossy. Yeah, Ooh, it's so glossy and smooth. The brat. You also left like Huge. the bigger, the bigger side. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't really love a pretzel, but I do like a bratwurst, so. Mm. Why does this kind of taste like apple cider? This is autumnal and rich and flavorful. This is so much better than any ball ballpark brat that I've ever had. And the pretzel is really crunchy. Mm. I'm, I'm really salty? like impressed by the pretzel. Me too. I get why people like soft pretzels now. How is it this good? This is something I would like pay a lot more for, honestly. This is really good. This is my favorite thing I've had since we've been here. In the entire city of St. Louis. <laughs> Just come to the Redbird Club, get this brat. It's all you really need in St. Louis. Honestly, do you really need a toasted ravioli? <laughs> no. You do not need it. Mm. That's really, really good.